Ah, now it's me and Rosa. Well, back here with Apollo, Justice State's Attorney. I think we're gonna be close to the end this time. I don't know if we'll beat it this time, and I'm not gonna, like, if we get to the 50-minute point, and I'm not, which is where I usually end an episode, and, and it's not very obviously about to wrap up, I'm not gonna, like, just try to be like, oh, let's power through, because that never ends well. So if I'm more than 50 minutes from the end, then this <laughs> won't probably be the last episode, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I, I'm i too excited about this. Um, we, okay, so we, we I, I don't remember what the exact last thing that was said was, but we're kind of cornering Kristoff and, and sort of needling him with all these questions in court right now, and let's progress on with it. Is that Grimory? Gone missing for seven years. Trucy's father. What's wrong, Apollo? Go get him! Right. Leave it to me. Allow me to refresh the court's memory. Said that was a perfect time for it, Apollo. Thank you. Six months ago, Christoph Gavin was charged with murdering a mysterious traveler. I remember him quite well. Shady Smith, was it? Poison in a Chinese restaurant. Tragic. Oh, wait. Yes. Hang on. Okay, first of all, he wasn't poisoned in Chinese restaurant. He was bludgeoned over the head in a borscht pool club. But um, I, re I really see why Apollo was hesitating. Is because Trucy doesn't know. Bugger, I kind of forgot about that. This is about to suck. Majorly. Uh, the details don't really matter right now. What matters is that that traveler was Zach Remery. What is it, Apollo? Huh? Keep going. We'll talk about it later. Uh, did she already know? Never mind! Maybe she knew! Well, I guess I probably should have seen that one coming. <laughs> Someone please explain this! Mr. Justice, can you explain this? It all started seven years ago. The great magician, Manifee Gremory's death, started it. The magician was not the death. <laughs> the magician, Manifee Gremory's death. Sorry, I said that really weirdly. Manifee Gremory's death and his student, Zach Gremory, the suspect. Whoever defended Zach in court successfully would be famous. Successfully would be famous beyond belief. Thinking that, Christoph Gavin did the unthinkable. He forged evidence. Drew Misham. Actually, it was his daughter, Vera, who really did the work. You took precautions when you had that forgery made, didn't you, Mr. Gavin? Precautions? To keep people from talking, of course. These two know too much. Leave them alive and there'll be nothing but trouble. That's when you planned your poisoning of the forgers. A tronquinine. Applied to a commemorative stamp. But luck was on Mr. Misham's side. The bomb didn't go off. His daughter. She saved him by taking the stamp. I see. But that wasn't the only bomb he set up. The Eridoni nail polish, of course. You noticed something when you requested that forgery. When Vera Misham is nervous, she has a bad habit. A tendency to bite her nails. Ugh. That nail polish was her good luck charm. I'm still surprised that she only got 0 0.002 milligrams or less from biting a nail. Like, that's a... Like, a, a nail with that... Well, anyways. She was almost kidnapped once. Uh, since then, she's been... Uh, well, you can see for yourself. She refuses to leave the house. That person gave me a good luck charm for when I absolutely had to go outside. It protects me. Yes, uh, apparently she received something. A gift. She won't tell me what it was. It was from that client. The one who wanted that note made. See, if, as a, pa a father, I would be like, Hey, you have to show me. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be like, all right, because she said, Oh, if I show anyone, uh, it'll be... It, the, it won't work anymore, but like, Goddamn, dude. It was his insurance. Insurance? As long as she lived quietly at home, there was no danger to her. But what if she had to go outside? If she ran into any trouble, she'd become nervous. And the nail polish would do the rest. His time bomb sat there for seven years, and then they went off almost simultaneously. Because the death of Mr. Misham made Farah quite nervous. <laughs> well, do we have a defense to that, Kristoff? If you're finished, may I return to my cell now? I'm not accustomed to standing for such long periods of time. Mr. Gavin, have you heard a single thing we've said? Oh, I listened quite closely to your little tale. Quite an entertaining piece of fiction. What? Clavier? Surely you understand? We're back to the evidence. The lacking evidence. Nothing proves a link between him and the Atroquanine that took Drew Mission's life. Objection! I think. <laughs> what about the restaurant? You killed Zachary Marie to keep him from talking. I killed no man of that name. Read over the reports again, if you like. 
The victim was a traveler by the name of Shady Smith, about whom we know little else. You can't seriously think I knew he was that particular fugitive. Objection! Yeah? <laughs> sure I can. Okay, then why did you kill him? I pled- I plead my right to remain silent. Remember, this court did not convene to put me on trial. The defendant's name is Vera Misham, suspected in the murder of her father. My trial's been finished for six months now. Retrial! <laughs> you killed someone else. Mm. I'm afraid we have strayed considerably from our purpose here. This court concurs with the witness. Okay, but to be fair, the only way you're going to get an acquittal for Vera is if you prove who else murdered it, so this is this is like our only avenue of attack. It is defendant Vera Misham who is on trial here. No! But you were doing so good, Apollo! As long as there is no evidence to support the accusation against him, this course of inquiry cannot find Vera Misham innocent. Objection! Your Honor, Phoenix Wright spent seven years collecting this evidence. You still don't get it, do you? No! <laughs> it's like 30 hours into this game and I don't get it, sir! Let us assume there was poison in the nail polish. Who then was responsible for causing Veramisham to bite her nails? What? It wasn't me. I know that- Okay, that's completely irrelevant. It's whoever poisoned the nail polish that's to blame. <laughs> the one who brought that poison to her lips was you. That's just not correct. <laughs> what?! Evidence is everything. There is nothing more. That's- you can't- wait, hang on. <laughs> I believe this discussion has reached its conclusion. Y your Honor! Mr. Justice, you have performed admirably well for a novice attorney. I respect your partner, Phoenix Wright's determination as well. However- However, without direct proof, you have nothing. Isn't that right, Clavier? Unfortunately, yes, Christoph. You're right. That is, you would have been right, until now. <laughs> what? Did the news not reach your desk in solitary? The eyes of the nation are on this courtroom today. This is the trial case for a new judicial system. Oh, ah, that's right. I totally forgotten. I didn't. <laughs> I mean, I did today, but... The jurist system! Jurists, you say? The current judicial system has been deemed too closed off from society. The new system attempts to inject the wisdom of common citizens into the law. Common citizens? Wisdom? Is this some kind of a joke? What can we possibly gain by doing this? Entrusting our judicial system to a mindless, emotional mob of irrational mouth breathers? Common citizens have something called common sense, which according to <laughs> Phoenix's mentor is not always common. Common sense is not restricted by the law. Nonsense! There is only room for two in this court. Me and the law! Keep the riffraff out! Out, I say! <laughs> They're not in the court, actually. They're watching via camera. <laughs> They're watching everything by video camera. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy to see him turn towards the, this. <laughs> and Clavier, too. <laughs> How can you allow this? Incidentally, the one responsible for making this happen was Phoenix Wright. Was Phoenix Wright. Fe Phoenix... Right. Oh, bugger. He's gonna levitate more stuff? No, he's just doing it. Levitation of nothing. Punch! So... Everything was leading to this. Of course. Right. Go away, phone! This is intense! Right. Right. Right! Holy shit. My guy, your perfect hair! I won't accept! I can't accept! This is no court! Law. The law is everything! Law is absolute! You'd let ignorant swine soil your courts! Kristoff. It's over. Clavier! The law is absolute. You can't be serious. What? Odd. I thought you spent your life looking for loopholes. The law isn't absolute. It's filled with contradictions. The law is the end product of many years of history. The fruit of human knowledge. Like a gem polished to gleam through trials and errors. It is the fruit we receive and pass on and face in our time. And it is always changing, growing. Nurturing it is our task as human beings. Except for you, Kristoff. You aren't changing. You've stopped. You're not... Oh, you're not needed anymore. I couldn't think of anything to say. Maybe because I still haven't seen enough. But someday I'll know what law is 
and I'll fight to change it if I have to. Ding dang, that's not the end, is it? Jeez, it might be. I see no need to further prolong this trial. See, every time you say that though, it always gets stopped. This began as the trial of Vera Misham, accused as murdering her father. We also haven't really heard what the jurists have said. They might still be on Team Kristoff here. The painter drew Misham, however. Several other, however, uh, several other incidents were reviewed and we seem to have reached a conclusion. Before this court declares a verdict, I await your decision. Jurists of the court. For the death of Drew Misham, how do you find the defendant, Vera Misham? Innocent or guilty? I turn to you now to consider this matter. I was about to speak, but then that happened and it scared me. October 9th, 1248 p.m. Jurist Chambers. This ends the trial for this case. Only the verdict remains to be decided. Defendant Vera Misham is currently in intensive care. I guess it's Phoenix. If a decision cannot be reached today, it may never be reached. The factors involved are simple. Did the defendant poison her father that night? If so, she is guilty. Or was there another reason for Mr. Mission's death? Did another person poison him? If so, she is innocent. A panel has been provided for each of you to input your decisions. That is all. Please, wait! Yes, jurist number six? There's something in the jurist handbook here. Persons involved with the case may not be jurists. That is correct. I've looked into all your dossiers. None of you were involved with the development of the case. With the development of the case... I see. Does that answer your concern? It's time for your verdicts. Make your decision in the case against Vera Misham. After seven years, the truth is ready to be heard. Judge wisely. Judge well. I'm getting nervous like I'm going to have to do something here, when I shouldn't be, because I'm either playing as Phoenix, Trucy, or Apollo at any time. What? 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 Why is Lamir War showing up? Oh, it was Lamir War. Hey! But... You can't pin this on me. I'm not even allowed to save right now. I mean, I would say not guilty. I mean, it seems like... But if I say not guilty, then that means it's Kristoff more than like... Well, no, I, we're not... It's not guilty. Not guilty. Come on, surely. Wait, no, they're not gonna make me choose. I mean, I don't have any evidence to. And I mean, the whole thing about Ace Attorney, you're supposed to like believe your client's guilty to the end. Or not, <laughs> no, innocent to the end. Sorry, I'm not guilty. I think that's that's an easy choice. Not. Let me not overthink this. I don't know why Lamir War is. What? Wait a minute. Lamir War looks mysteriously like Talasa. How did I only just pick that up? I knew her face looked familiar. What? What is that? What kind of twist is that? I can't believe, I can't believe I did, what? No, 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 hold on. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be able to continue and if I don't continue right now, I did not, I knew she looked familiar. What, well, there's something about the structure of the eyes. Ah, you probably all noticed that already, didn't you? Even if you haven't played the game, bugger. And so a verdict was reached on October 9th, 2.14 p.m. The first verdict under the jurist system. Innocent. By unanimous decision. Okay, so everyone agreed? <laughs> the record will show that when the verdict was announced, special witness Christoph Gavin laughed. Wait, what? Is it not the judge anymore? A laugh louder than any heard before or since. I don't know who's voicing this. A laugh that echoed in the halls of justice, lingering for what seemed like hours. October 10th, 8.30 a.m., the morning after the trial. Why does it feel like I'm about to get a bad ending Ace Attorney 2 style <laughs> for saying that Vera Mission, who there was no evidence against being, no no evidence or or emotions, really, to dictate her being guilty. The fact that I said her was, she was innocent. Why does it feel like I made a mistake? No, no, no. I, I, I stick by this. In an intensive care ward, a true miracle occurred. Vera Mission opened her eyes. October 10th, 10.12 a.m., Hickfield Clinic. Oh, sweet Jesus. Tell me Hottie's not around here. Vera! Vera! I'm so glad I... Don't cry, Apollo. I'm happy too. And proud. You did well, Apollo. I thought you were going to say for Vera for, si for having. When I thought about... Uh, what if Vera... I... Hey now, don't you start crying too. Um... Sorry you had to see us like this. She smiles! <laughs> Vera? Thank you so much 
Apollo, thank you. No, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have pressed you like that. If if I hadn't, you would never have bitten your nails. You never would have bitten, damn it, sorry. No, I was wrong. Staying locked inside like that, clinging to my good luck charm. Vera, when I opened my eyes and saw you, I finally understood. It's important to be a part of the world. To see things with your own eyes. It looks like that poison had some effect after all. It killed off whatever was holding Vera back from life. <laughs> I don't think that's the approach. I know you'd pull through, Vera. I mean, that's what Apollo was fighting for the whole time. Your future. I won't forget it. Here, let me thank you. Oh, no, really, it's okay. Oh, you should drop portrait of me. Oh, it's a jersey! That's adorable! <laughs> look, look, it's me! I love it! Thanks! Is one for Polly, too? Oh, the hair. <laughs> That's so cute. Is that me? She really captured your essence, Apollo. Well, I think so, at least. That reminds me. Do you know where the other lawyer is? The other lawyer? Oh, you mean Daddy. Except he's not a lawyer anymore. It's my fault, isn't it? I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I meant. No, it's okay. I'm through looking away from the things I've done. I hope I can look him in the eyes again someday and apologize. I'm sure he'd be happy to hear that. He brought all those things for me when he came to visit earlier. You mean that stack of videos? Mr. Wright finished watching them all? <laughs> you know, I knew my real daddy was alive. Huh? I was there. Se that was his voice was that. I was there, seven years ago, remember? I was the one who helped him vanish from the courtroom. Y you did what? How? Wait, you didn't read the th I thought you read it. <laughs> I'm not telling! He promised me that day he went away. We may not meet again for some time, Trucy. But know this, I will be watching. And one day, I shall return. You're the next Grammarie after all! <laughs> oh. Trucy. In the end, he couldn't keep that promise, could he? It's okay. Phoenix is my daddy now. Even if he can't really play the piano. That he can't. Oh, and I've got you too! Even if your voice is kind of loud sometimes. Glad I made your list. Hey! Come to think of it. Where is daddy? The one who can't play. <laughs> like she had to specify. Do you know Apollo? I think he said he had to meet someone. Hmm. I wonder. Maybe this is a new mommy? Uh, more like a new daddy, I reckon. <laughs> oh, uh, Trucy? Hmm? Yes, Vera? I was wondering, could you show him to me once more? Sir Hat, was it? Oh, he's not been knighted yet. Here goes. Do us an impersonation, Mr. Hat. <laughs> Objection! <laughs> Not loud enough. And I like Miss Magic Underwear better anyway. That's Magic Panties, Apollo! <laughs> so, your memory's returned. <gasps> Dalatha, I guess. Mr. Wright, was this all a part of your plan too? I don't know what you're talking about. When I lost my memory, I was reborn as La Miroir. But you knew my true identity, did you not? That is why you chose me as one of your jurists. Nah, you're thinking into it too much. Besides, there was no guarantee that regaining your memory would make you happy. Of course, it is a happy thing. For so long, I thought I was alone. But now I know I have children. Two dear children. I'm so proud of them. This too, I think, is thanks to you. Are you gonna tell them? They do not know. Nope. They don't know their mother. They don't even know their siblings. I will go to them. When the time is right. Until then, I... Don't worry. I'll take care of them for you. They're... They're very important to me, too. A little annoying at times, but still. I have to keep an eye on her, at least. Because I'm the only one who knows how she really feels. On the inside. Oh. Your bracelet. Wow, that was so... Oh, right, because like, she puts on this bravado all the time. Ah, oh, I'm a performer. God. Brave face to make Apollo poor, scared, nervous Apollo feel a little better. Yes. I've seen a lot of mysterious things these past seven years. But your bracelets were the strangest of all. 
I remember meeting him half a year ago now in Christoph Gavin's office. And then I met you. Two fates destined to intertwine. And I was there when they crossed. I'll never forget that. Such a small thing, that bullet. Yet it tore who I was away. Ten years ago, during a simple rehearsal, it was a miracle no one died. But I didn't survive that accident. That is why I left the troop. My family. Now my memory has returned. I am myself once more. For the first time. I'm glad to be alive, Mr. Wright. Speaking of miracles, Vera Mission regained consciousness this morning. I can only hope she's as glad as you are. It is a strange thing, Fate. Sometimes a life is taken. Sometimes a life is spared. You know what I've been thinking? People don't die that easily, really. As long as they've got something worth living for. <laughs> I don't know if that's all, all, all the way true. <laughs> and that's pretty much the end of my story. For now, anyway. I've still got a long way to go. And this power of mine, well, it needs some work. But there's hope now. We lost it, but somehow we found it again. That's why people are smiling again. Hope. Yeah. I think I'll keep at this lawyer thing for a while. Oops, uh, training time. Gotta go. Cords of steel. Here comes justice! Objection! Ha <laughs> I got it this time. <laughs> Yay! How about that? That had a slightly more- Ah, sorry. I'm glad you're staying with the agency, Apollo. <laughs> it's like- Like I found my long-lost big little brother. Oh, and don't you worry about Troop Grammarie. Trucy's on the case. Now that I have this, thanks to Daddy. Trucy Grammarie? Frankly, I got my doubts. But Hat Grammarie? Now that'll pack him in. <laughs> I forgot that they have uh, speaking going on during the credits. Ah, the lag. Whenever it goes 3D. <laughs> Planning Takeshi Yamazaki, Kiski, Yamakawa. No, I'm gonna stop reading names because I'm gonna butcher it by the end. It's not every day you get a trial that rocks harder than one of our gigs, yeah? That's why it's over. The governors are breaking up. The news caused a run on tissues at supermarkets nationwide. You are the real stars now. I look forward to our next jam session. I wonder if you're going to be prosecuting for any of the other games. That would be interesting. Because we kind of had Edgeworth as a bit of a running theme throughout the first few games. All these people in the credits did an exceptional job on this game, which is why I will not address them individually. It's not just because I think I won't be able to read them in time. Well, it's finally over. You know, thinking about it, I've been a piano player longer than I was a lawyer. Now that everything's sorted and I've got time on my hands, maybe I'll take some lessons. Or maybe I'll take the bar exam again. I don't know if you'd be allowed to. <laughs> but I also figure at this point, it probably is a little more clear that you uh, did not mean to forge any evidence or it was sort of like not altogether your fault anyways. You didn't prepare the forged evidence specifically. I will say though that this one did sort of end on a slightly more... No, I can't say it because the dialogue is going to come back. I'll save that until the credits are done, my thought. So I was standing around eating snack foods the other day when I got this crazy idea. Yes? Oh. What if they were golden? You could augment the crunch, or better yet, make them ding! Ah, the power of science. Although the preservatives might not be 100% safe. No! Don't eat gold! <laughs> what? That's a terrible idea! Background graphics. Well, you did- you were- you did some heavy lifting, my friends. <laughs> In unlikely event you are wanting Russian feast, Come to Borscht Bowl Club! <laughs> the only thing colder than restaurant is Borscht! Ah, but if greater challenges are being required... <laughs> then come to the hideout! You know who to ask for! Well, I don't know that you were exactly a... Were you, I didn't think you were a poker player, I thought you were just a dealer. <laughs> or like an overseer of a match, whatever that would be called. Man, we went through that last case without many tremendous mistakes. Did we even die once? I don't think we did. Oh, here we go. <laughs> So, Kitaki Pastries is getting back to these eastern roots. Spread the culture and all. Yo, boss! Culture time! This is how we write root, capish? But we're still about giving back to the people. Yo, boss! PR time! <laughs> and, uh, this is how we write people, alright? <laughs> 
Not that Rocky's paying any attention. Ugh, kids. <laughs> That's all the cases we've seen. We've seen most mostly everyone we run into. Hopefully we don't have to see Director Hottie ever again. Bizoy! Chinese characters on a cake was a fly idea like 3,000 years ago. Believe that. Man, you want to make it today, you got to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that's why I made the OG <laughs> I know it don't look like her to Sorry. <laughs> I absolutely couldn't. I'm so sorry. That was way too funny. Oh my god. I don't know where all this talk about food is coming from. You ask me, there's only one food, and that's noodles. Noodles forever. I got a new one too. See, this time I just put a big chunk of salt in the bowl. <laughs> Why pretend? It'll lose noodles is about the salt. Salt forever. <laughs> Man, this is really testing my memory with all the voices in a rapid fire thing where I don't have to advance it. I, I'm not allowed to advance it myself. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Wesley Stickler. Oh, great. Uh, my exceptionally inquisitive nature has won me unequivocal adoration in my department. Uh, you see, uh, they used to call me Wesley Stinkler, and now they say Wesley Stickley or, and Wesley Stickley hands. But no longer. Uh, I have a new name, uh, one that reflects my true academic nature. Uh, Wesley Sicko, reporting. <laughs> yes, curiosity is a sickness, and I am the cure. Don't believe that's the idea, but that's a tremendously funny wordplay joke. One wonders who's taking all these pictures, though. Oh, probably Phoenix with his cat cam, except for the fact that he's in one of them, so never mind. I got to play as Beanie Feeny for part of this game. How exciting is that? <laughs> I've already bought Dual Destinies, by the way, and I'm gonna install it right after this. I don't know how to thank you after all you've done. Light has returned to my life, and with it, joy. I may have lost years, but I have gained a treasure. Two treasures, in fact. I will think of them when I write my next song. I think it's probably good not to drop that on them all at once. They've had a tumultuous few days. <laughs> Hey, are we gonna go see Valent's show at some point? Probably, right? I mean, probably not the actual show, but we'll at least see Valent in a minute here. Brushel, 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 brushel here, back on the beach with another interview. <laughs> eh? How do I feel about how things turned out? No scoop yet, but a journalist confidence in mint condition. End quote. <laughs> oh. oh, hi Vera. I've decided to keep painting. Uh, originals only, of course. I suppose I'll have to see a bit of the world outside to find what to paint, but I know there are good people out there now. I've met them. Oh, thank you! I mean, I know you're talking to Apollo, but... <laughs> it's yours open. The world is waiting. Thank you. That's sweet. I'm glad that's happening. Shu Takami! The land, the, the, the land, the man, the man, the myth, the legend. Hey! Mr. Hat, Trucy, and Polly! Oh, that's so cute. Oh, this is cool. I like this. This is awesome! Thank you, Vera. Oh, this is an amazing one. And you didn't just draw my hair this time. How about that? Back to title screen. Hey, we did it! Well, I'm very glad that I caught the objection this time because at, at the end of them, there's always a gag where, where someone says something and then, it, and then the protagonist goes, objection, right at the end. In the other ones, though, it would be something like, hey, Phoenix, you're going to pick up our tab, right? And you just, objection! And this time it was the trading one. But I'm glad I still caught it because I usually was, I, I always like, was was trying to like, <laughs> okay, I know what's going to happen this time and then I would miss it. Um, or I would not be ready for it. Oh, that was so amazing. It ended a lot more, uh, sort of, a little bleaker than some of the other ones did. I mean... Uh, I mean, obviously, there's a there's a sad ending in, in the second game, but I mean that that I mean it was it was a happy ending all altogether. But like that, just with that, and with Trucy, how she never really got to. Well, we didn't get much closure on that. I'm sure we will, because she's de almost definitely in the other ones. I don't think they would just make her a one trick pony for this, because she's such an amazing character. Gosh, I have to summarize now. Oh, I love this so much. I was so when I started this game, um, I was thinking I was like trying to just trying to rank it in my head, and I, I hate ranking stuff. Like especially like what's your favorite this in the series? Like I I don't I shouldn't say I hate it, but I'm just bad at it. Like I'm always wishy washy about. It. I was thinking it would go at the start where it, where it ranked it was three at the top then one then four this one and then the second one but by the end now after the whole thing particularly with that last case and the whole flashback sequence and the way that all tied together and added to Phoenix's story and gave more depth to Apollo and Trucy who we've been seeing all along and now apparently Talasa is Lemerwar um Hi, hi there, plot twist that I should have seen coming and didn't. All that stuff very much tied the experience together and made it feel like a much more cohesive, contained story, even as, as a story within the series. So I like that aspect of it. So I think now I, this would have to be my second favorite one to three. Three was still God tier in many ways, but uh, I think it goes three, four, one, two now. I liked it more than the first one, yeah. <laughs> it was really, really good, damn. 
I mean, uh, let's just go through all the good things. Uh, wait, hang on, but Kristoff, oh, I feel like we didn't, I didn't get as much there. I, I wanted to believe in him a little more that he didn't, and I, I guess they kind of, they didn't actually really show whether he got convicted for that murder. All we did was prove was that Vera was innocent, I guess. So maybe Kristoff is still all right in, in his cell. I mean, he's just learning to come to grips with the, the new system, or maybe he's going to be coming back in the, in the other games. I'm actually not sure. <laughs> no, I, I don't even know if, who our new, um, if we're going to have a new prosecutor, if we're going to have a new, uh, if we're going to, if Kristoff is still going to be around, if what's, where Clavia is going to go end up. I don't really know much of what goes on the other ones. I know that Dual Destinies, I'm pretty sure Apollo and Phoenix are both a part of it. That's about all I really know. So yeah, I'd like to see more of Kristoff if we do, because we, I feel like we didn't get a, 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 we didn't get quite as much as a, of him as I would have liked in, in the end there, considering how important he was right at the start, and they made it, they sort of teased like he was going to be real important for the rest of it, like he was going to come back, and it, he did kind of end up turning, I mean, because he's the one who got Phoenix's badge revoked in the end, we think, I mean, we didn't really get proof on that, I was just pretty sure, because if it wasn't, yeah, anyways, maybe they'll go into that more, but I just, I'm writing top, 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 top tier, as always, for this series. Utterly charming, wholesome, heartwarming, and hilarious at times. <laughs> like, un, un, like, unfairly. Character design, the new designs were all cool, the new puns were funny, um, the actual court, the gameplay itself. I mean, I have very few complaints with the, the, the way this game's gameplay went down. I really love the perceiving thing. That's such a cool mechanic. Um, and it was a lot of, it, it was fun whenever they made you do it. I want, like, more of that. I hope that comes back. My only real complaints with, like, most of my complaints complaints with this game are like the first case because it was like really long and and harder than all of the other ones <laughs> which it was just just the, the logic was sort of strange in the way you had to approach it but it was still a good case all, all together just it was it was like slightly always like a little harder than it felt like it needed to be the, the way the logic played out it was just it was a good time i love these games <laughs> i can't wait to start the fifth one i'm probably going to do it in a few in in the next few days actually maybe i'll take a little longer break who knows I, i'm not actually sure about that um music amazing got i've got more more things stuck in my head so thank you very much for that capcom and up and days attorney team uh <laughs> that's great <laughs> it's like Final Fantasy, where every every new game I pick up a new battle theme that gets stuck in my head. I've played up to one one through seven now, and so I've got seven battle themes for Final Fantasy. And the second I play the eighth one, it's just gonna be like great. <laughs> this is why I can't remember anything else that's worthwhile in my life. <laughs> the stupid music is so good. Uh, the visuals were delightful. I, I think maybe it's more of like a personal thing. I, like I, I would marginally prefer the the trilogy's HD remakes style to to this fourth game style this there was a bit more of like a something like smudgy about the the, the visuals in this game but maybe it's just because I'm playing on an emulator that I guess that could also be part of it. But that's more a matter of opinion than a matter of, or I mean, obviously the, my, the entire, my, all my comments are a matter of opinion, but it's more of personal taste, like all the way through rather than there's something objectively wrong with it. So I, I won't, I won't, I don't think it's true. Just that. Anyways, um, I loved it. It was amazing. Flawless. <laughs> not flawless. Perfect. It was not flawless or perfect, but it was great. <laughs> I can't wait to start the fifth one and uh, hopefully the sixth one after. So, so there's the fifth and sixth are the mainline games, but there's also, there are also like the spin-off ones is the there's professor Layton versus phoenix right which i feel like i would probably get more out of if i played the Layton games first which i have not touched a single one so maybe i'll do that on the channel sometime there's the miles edgeworth series where you go off as edgeworth doing stuff and then there's the great ace attorney chronicles which they also just re-released um that was a big thing that happened in ace attorney news i'm just i just want to make sure i don't leave anything else out to praise oh, it was just so good i loved it I loved it, damn it! <laughs> I love Ace Attorney. I think I'm, I'm glad that I did the trilogy by myself and not recording it, because it's a very... It feels very personal to me now, I guess, is the thing. And not that this game doesn't, or it doesn't have its place with me now, I guess, but I, I think I, I appreciated going into a title with some grounding for the series, um, I guess is my point. Which is why I'm certain I will enjoy the fifth one even more, damn it. And I hope that you will come around and do something, uh, do that game with me, or play a different game through with me. Whatever, I just hope to see you around. And with that, thank you very much for coming around. Admiral's going to be out of here. Hopefully I will see you around. This game was awesome. Peace. Oh, I was right in the nose. I was right in the pooper. Sorry. I feel bad about that one. Very well. Roll and roll the second one. All right, good. And now the money you are going to see what it's